Hey guys, Cypher Sensei here, coming at you with another what if. Today we are doing what if Gohan was raised as a fighter part 4. Where we last left off, Vegeta and Goku had their big fight. Goku won that fight. Now, let's hit that intro. After his defeat, the Vegeta is tied up. When he wakes up, he is confronted by Goku. He is asked why he wants immortality. Vegeta tells them that he wants immortality so he can fight and defeat Frieza. Goku questions who this Frieza is. Vegeta lets him know that Frieza is the most evil, merciless ruler who either conquers or destroys planets of his choosing. He's even blown up our home world, Vegeta says. He has the power level of 530,000, and that might not be even be his strongest form, says the pro Fallen Prince. Goku said he's understood, but the Dragon Balls were just used. Krillin chimes in, what if we go to Namek? He explains that since Kami made the Dragon Balls, and Kami and Piccolo are Nameks, they could assume that there should be a set of Dragon Balls on Namek. Piccolo likes the idea, he gets a chance to meet his brethren. Vegeta tells him that Frieza will most likely be on Namek, since during their fight, Frieza could hear them talking about these wish-granting orbs. Now Goku is excited. A chance to fight a strong enemy and avenge the Saiyan race. That sounded cool. They asked, Veg they asked Bulma to make a really big spaceship with separate rooms for Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, and Piccolo. They requested that each room have a gravity machine. And Bulma said that with her dad's help, this should take only a week. During this week, Vegeta stayed at Capsicorp healing. His Zenkai boost brought his power level up to 55,000. When the building is over, the three Saiyans and Piccolo head to Namek. The ship is faster than Kami's ship, but slower than Dr. Wraith's original ship, since it was bigger. The trip took two weeks. But during this trip, they get huge gains. Since they each had their own gravity machines, they could do personal training. But when they got together, after some time, they could train at 120 times Earth's normal gravity. Their power levels are as such. Piccolo, 400k. Gohan, 500k. Goku, 550k. And Vegeta, 600k. With this training, Vegeta felt as if he could take on Frieza himself but stayed quiet since Frieza might have had more fallen arms. When they arrive, Gohan sees Zarbon and Doria terrorizing an, a Namekian village. Since the Z warriors can sense their energies, they know they aren't much of a threat. But also, because of their scouters, everyone suppresses their power levels to about 50,000. This is enough to do some damage to the Doria when Gohan rushes to punch him and take the Namek, who is later known as Zende. The group runs away, causing Frieza to send the Doria after them. When they are far enough, Vegeta turns around and starts relentlessly attacking the Doria, finishing him off with a Gallic gun. This causes Frieza to send Zarbon after them. The gang raises their power levels to 60,000 so they can move faster. Then they then brings them to Guru's tower. When they get there, Guru allows them up to his place. They tell him that they are there to deal with Frieza and use the Dragon Balls for the powers to be able to end the tyrant. Guru sees that most of them have 100% good intention, except Vegeta. He isn't thinking anything truly evil, so he rushes it off. He unlocks the potential of everyone there, including Dende. Their power levels increase. Piccolo, 3 million. Gohan, 4 million, Goku and Vegeta, 5.5 million each. Together, their power level is about 18 million. And when, and they think that, collectively, if they ambush Frieza, they could win. So they do that. The Ginyu Force doesn't even get called. When they start to fight, Frieza is instantly overwhelmed. He powers up to his second form. He still isn't strong enough. So he's transformed straight to his final form, using 20% of his full power, which is about 24 million. This is enough to overpower the group. First, Frieza kills Vegeta. He laughs about he laughs and talks about how if he was loyal he'd still be alive. 
Goku buries him. The rest rush in, but then Frieza shoots a beam through Goku. It doesn't kill him, but it looks like it does. Finally, Frieza blows up Piccolo. Gohan is in shock. Dashok then turns to rage. He lets out a scream. His hair sticks up, and it goes blonde. Gohan is now a Super Saiyan. Frieza is shocked. He instantly powers up to full power. This isn't helping him though. Frieza's power level of 120 million is nothing compared to Gohan's 200 million. The fight goes on for a while, but during this time, King Kai tells Dende to do something. Dende gathers the Dragon Balls. His first wish is to repair Piccolo's body. His second wish is to revive Piccolo. This brings back Kami. Kami then gathers the Earth's Dragon Balls, wishing everyone back who was killed by Frieza and his men. Dende is about to wish everyone to Earth except Frieza, but Gohan chimes no. Goku then also wakes up. Dende heals Goku, bringing his power level to 8 million. During this time, Frieza is unaware of all the wishing. He sends a giant death ball to the core of Namek, giving the planet 5 minutes to explode. Dende in quick haste teleports everyone to Earth except for Frieza and Gohan, plus Goku who wanted to watch his son, who, was, who he was extremely proud of. So the only one left on Namek are Gohan, Goku, and Frieza. Gohan, knowing his dad as well, calms down, meaning he can fight better now. He beats Frieza mercilessly and ends it with a special beam cannon, seemingly killing the Emperor. Gohan doesn't spare Frieza since he isn't exactly like Goku. Goku doesn't interfere either since this wasn't his battle. Gohan drops out of SSJ. Goku now has 3 minutes to take him and his exhausted child off the planet before it explodes. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for now. To find out what happens next, stay tuned for part 5. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay quirky. Sensei out.